Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt in Daytona Career Mode series. Last episode, we went to Talladega, and I crashed like heck, which I, I probably could have figured that was going to happen. But we're going to put that in the rear view, and we're going to see where we're headed today. Continuing with the month of October, we are headed to Lowe's Motor Speedway. We are not going to run the Roval, we are running the Oval. So this is another one of those tracks that we have definitely upgraded the car quite a bit since we were here last, so I really hope we can better that best lap. If I remember correctly, I wrecked coming out of the pits and uh, hit the wall a ton last time we were here. So let's hope we can have a better day today. I really don't want two bummer episodes back to back. That would that would stink. Plus, we lost a couple positions in the points last time out, so I'd like to uh, try and start that march back towards uh, 20th or so again, but we're going to see what happens today. Oh, don't get tight there. We'll just cool the tires a little bit. All right, we were only a tenth off of our best lap, even with how bad that three and four was. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna get our best lap here. And uh, there. Clear high. the car setup feels good. I'm happy with it. I'll probably hop straight into qualifying. Let's see. Still there. Oh, come Still on. There. I forgot we were pretty slow at the line to start that lap, so let's not clip the apron. Let's drive straight off the corner and let's have a good lap. Well, maybe I won't have a good lap. That would also probably be part of the reason why my laps are bad. Um, nose damage and bumper damage are definitely not great for uh, lap time, turns out. All right, whatever. Car feels actually drivable, which is a lot better than the last time I was here. So I'm gonna qualify. We're gonna hope for the best. 29.8, dang. Go, 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 go. If we can get a good exit out of here, I think we'll be able to put down a pretty good lap. Just gotta stay off the apron, stay out of the wall, and I think we'll be okay. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a tank slapper, but we are good. I think that was a pretty good lap. All right, let's see where we play. Wasn't as pretty as I would have liked, but solid and the car is drivable. All right, 16th, we're gonna start on the top, which isn't great, but let's, uh, let's listen to Alan tell us about Lowe's Motor Speedway. Hello and welcome to Lowe's Motor Speedway at Charlotte. Even though it was built more than four decades ago, drivers still love to race at this mile and a half quad oval. 
If Daytona is the pinnacle of NASCAR racing, then Lowe's has to be just a bumper behind. Fans flock to the largest sports facility in the Southeast, home track to many of NASCAR's teams. Thank you, Alan. It's set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Car low. So the race is 43 laps. Clear high. Looks like 14 laps, which I'm sure we can stretch a little bit. So two stops should get this race done, no problem. Car low. We're washing up off the bottom, which is not great. At least we don't have damage. We made it through a whole lap and didn't hit anything. What a way to start the day. Buddy. We have crunched the nose officially. That's okay. Everything's fine. Still there. Everything's clear fine. Eyes. All clear. Everything's fine. Carlo. Elliot. Ooh, I heard that crunch pretty hard in my headphones. Oh, it is unraveling quickly. Everything's fine. And only 40 more laps of this, everybody. Still there. All clear. Ooh, is that... Who's blowed up? Is that Junior? Oh no! The Bud Boys are packing up Still early there. today. Still there. All clear. Alright, we have settled into a bit of a rhythm now. We're in 18th, everybody's starting to string out already. Just try and run some clean laps. I always forget, you can't run the high side in this game. It is useless. Still there. Still there. All right, so today's question. What is your favorite sub sandwich shop? Is it something like a regional thing that you really like? Are you a big fan of like Subway, Jersey Mike's, Jimmy John's? We have a really good place here in downtown Deland called Manzano's. I haven't been in a little bit since we moved back, but I used to go there a lot when I was in high school and college and big fan of that. We have a subway right down the road. It's the easiest and probably the cheapest, but not a huge fan of subway. I think Jersey Mike's of like the chain sub shops is pretty good. I was a huge Quiznos fan, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they disappeared. But yeah, let me know down below. What's your favorite? Or, what's the weirdest place you like to get subs? We actually get subs from Domino's sometimes whenever we order pizza and pasta and stuff. They have pretty decent subs. But yeah, let me know down below. And maybe something exciting will happen by the time you finish your comment.
I just looked at my right front and it is very mad. We're just not going to look at that anymore. John, come back. I just want to pass you. And my right front is very loud and very angry. How soon until I can pit? Oh, I still got like three laps probably. I think that's about the closest we've got to John, but then we wash up real bad at the end of the corner. Man, remember when tires used to wear? Like, we're already six tenths off of our best lap. I know it's got like 4x wear, so this would be like 50 laps in, but still. And uh, with the yellow out, I guess that means we're not pitting under green just yet. So that's one less chance for me to mess it up. Space cars out. So I think I'm gonna leave the car the same. It drove pretty well, I'm pretty happy with it. I just have to not hit people, not hit the wall, stay off the apron. And I think we'll be in good shape. Pace cars off. Get set. All right. Um, There's the green flag. Not sure how I ended up sixth, but uh, all righty Stay then. High. Still there. Car low. Maybe everybody went to pit a second time just to get a little extra fuel or something, but I won't complain about that. Clear low. You're all clear. Clear low. Clear low. All right, we got around most of the lap, guys. Dale Jarrett was our leader, so I know oh he's a lot faster than I am. I didn't mean to hit you, bud. Just trying to let you go by. All right. So I'm sure we'll keep losing some spots. We were like 17th before, so. Carlo. We somehow scammed, you know, 10 or so positions so uh, I won't be surprised if I lose most or all of those but uh, hey, it's nice to be you know on the same straightaway as the leader instead of 20 seconds back like 12 seconds into the race so 25 to go I believe all right, we've got another Fair yellow. I just went through turn one. I did not see a wreck, but okay. Um, I'll probably just pit again, just to get you know an extra few laps of fuel, and uh, hope that helps us later. I don't think there was many takers this time around. 
so if we stay green for a while this might shuffle the strategy just a bit looks like we lost all those positions we had <laughs> I always get nervous when it stops me at the end of pit road because then it's like uh am I gonna be stuck here forever what's the plan but uh hey the Bucketheads got us out ahead of uh, Jeff Burton, so good stuff, Bucketheads. All right, so it looks like we've only got 15 guys on the lead lap, and we've got a couple more laps of fuel than everybody else, us and Jeff Burton. We'll see how this one goes. I can't imagine we don't get another caution. Don't know what happened there, but Car low. okay. Carlo. All clear. Oh. They're rubbing. I think they're like four wide up there. All clear. got really light coming off the corner that is never there. fun still there all clear like if a car is loose all the time or tight all the time and predictable like that I can drive but when it's tight, 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 and then super loose all of a sudden, that's when it gets sketch. So it looks like we're about nine laps short on fuel. I assume most of everybody else is probably gonna pit in the next five laps or so. And then we might catch a lucky caution and <laughs> us and Jeff Burton be the only two guys on the lead lap. You're all clear. I'm definitely going to try and run pretty much until we're out, just hoping to catch a lucky caution or something, but I mean, pretty much the worst we can finish is 15th, the out. and the yellow's out again. Scrap everything I said. <laughs> Alright, so 15 to go, everybody's going to pit now and be under the same strategy. Cool. All right, final run the of the race. Green. There's a wreck in turn one. There's a green flag. There's a wreck in turn one. We are headed to turn one. Still there. Still there. No, why would you do that? Oh, please don't crash. We're fine. Clear Clear high. Like, 
dog, I am 15 miles an hour faster than you. Do not move up and block me, please. Uh, oh, we're fine. Yeah, that, uh, that might have been my fault. Just the, just the maybe, maybe my fault, possibly. Oh, what a mess. Stay low. Still there. Pace cars out. You're all clear. Yep. We're gonna pit again. That front end is looking rough. Pace cars off. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. So for some reason, Mark Martin is in front of us on track, even though he's a lap behind us. Um, can't exactly explain that one, but uh, already then. I'm hoping we can just have an uneventful last few laps. Don't know why Rusty is so slow, but I am okay with that. That was a great lap. Still there. Stay high. Still there. Thank you, sir. Clear low. All right, we're a second and a half away from a top five. Sorry, we're a second and a half away from a top 10. And we've got seven laps to try and do it. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I am sure as heck gonna try. We're like inching closer on Terry Labani, but until we get into a good draft range and especially not if I hit the wall, I don't know that we're really going to make up much ground on him. Five laps to go. Don't tell me we're going to have another yellow. Yeah, I'm starting to lose time to Terry and Blaney. I think I uh, burned up my stuff <laughs> in that first couple laps really pushing. Um, at this point, Let's just bring it home clean. Yeah, we are pushing so bad out of the corner. The front will not turn anymore. 
But hey, a top 12 day after uh, the run we've had recently. Nothing to complain about. Two to go. Cannot complain about a thing. time around it's gonna be really nice to uh, not have a big loss in money I think we should actually gain pretty good money with a top 15 so I'm very excited about that That sure is worth a few points. Love to see it. Well, friends, it's usually a good day when your race result is on the same page as the winner. 12th place, 127 points. Let's see what kind of money we made. After losing 40,000 last episode, I am quite okay with putting 135,000 back in my pocket. That is for sure. And just like that, we're back in 23rd in the points. I knew we could do it, we just gotta keep having good finishes. If, if we have a bad finish, every time we have a good finish, we're never gonna move forward. Well friends, that's gonna do it for another episode. I just wanna say a big thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, comment if you've got anything to say, and subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.